Hello I'm Tina, and I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial. In this lesson we will be focusing on explaining the arbitrage opportunity that has presented itself to the 8th movement. Let's quickly get the legal stuff out of the way, I am not and neither are any of the characters in this tutorial a financial advisor. To be honest we are not even real people. This is being done for entertainment and educational purposes. For this tutorial, I need to introduce you to the three fictional characters. First, we have Harry, the poop slinging trader. Next, there is Casey the hedge fund destroyer. And finally please welcome Casey's cooler cousin, AC. Oh. And I almost forgot the most important character of all, Papa Mac. He will be our narrator for the remainder of this lesson. Thanks Tina. Arbitrage is a fancy word sometimes used in the stock market world. Typically when talking about arbitrage it is usually meant for an action that takes place over a few seconds of time. Specifically it is used when a stock ticker is trading on two different exchanges at a small price difference. However, that is not what we are dealing with in this tutorial, what we are discussing is something that rarely happens in the stock trading world. We have two stock tickers, APE and AMC, that both are shares for the same company. Technically because APE and AMC both represent the same company with the same voting rights, in a perfect world they would trade on the stock market at the exact same price. As us apes know we are not living in a perfect world and when the APE shares were first issued they were immediately attacked by the shorts and driven to weigh under $1 per share. The hedge funds knew what they were doing, APE's purpose in life was for Adam Aaron to be able to sell them to raise cash for the AMC business. By quickly driving the ape share price to less than a dollar it took Adam Aaron's weapon away, but the story fortunately does not end there. The great silverback himself in response to this what could be considered unfair treatment of the ape shares, announced in a 8k proxy that he is recommending the ape and AMC shares be married back together in order to eliminate this artificially lowered ape share price. This 4d chess move against the shorts aims to bring ape shares back into alignment, or equilibrium, with the AMC share price as it should have been all along. This is where the highly unusual and extremely rare opportunity that we are referring to as arbitrage comes into play. To better illustrate this rare arbitrage opportunity let's jump back into our story with our three fictional investors. Harry, KC and AC have different trading approaches so let's take a look. It's Thursday night, February 16, 2023 and Harry overhears during a jungle rage that a potential MOAS may be happening soon. Harry is immediately interested in this news, however a younger ape had to explain to Harry that a mo ass is not something you hope to see when swinging in the trees behind the missus. He told him it means the mother of all short squeezes. So Harry armed with this hot stock tip info the next morning, after sobering up, creates a fidelity trading account. In this account Harry decides to buy 20 shares of the ticker symbol AMC. He feels good that he was able to lock in these 20 shares at $5.25. So multiplying his 20 shares by $5.25 he now has a cost basis of $105 even. Now KC on the other hand, that same Friday, was driving his big tramp van, down by the river where he happens to see a billboard by Cat Striker stating something about Ken Lied and Ape's rule. Anyway, KC took this sign as, well, a sign that he should enter into this AMC Ape movement. With KC being the frugal person that he is, he decides to buy 20 shares, but noticing that Ape shares were less than half the price of AMC shares he sees Ape as the better deal. So KC opens his TD Ameritrade account, utilizing his two-factor authentication obviously, and he buys 20 Ape shares at $2.50. KC's account shows he has a $50 cost basis for his 20 shares of Ape. Lastly this brings us to AC. AC that same Friday morning happened to stumble onto a Reddit site and reads a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo about arbitrage and Ape versus AMC and on and on not being convinced one way or the other. AC decides to just split the difference and he logs into his trading account and buys 10 shares of AMC at $5.25 and 10 shares of APE at $2.50 apiece. His trading platform does the math for both and it shows his cost basis for these 20 shares at $77.50. For this next part of the story we need to assume, the votes at the March 14th shareholder meeting all three pass with a resounding yes, in my humble fictional character opinion, I believe Adam Aaron will indeed get the needed three yes votes. What these yes votes mean is that a couple things will happen. First, each trader's APE and AMC shares will be converted to the new, and for this lesson we will call it the golden ticket AMC shares. The 8K clearly states the conversion rate is one share to one share, whether it is the old APE or AMC shares being converted. Once these shares are converted to the new golden ticket version AMC shares they will be reverse split at a 10 for 1 ratio. 
To be clear, this conversion and reverse split happen independently, but could technically happen in either order. Regardless, the same result will occur and each of our three investors will end up with two new golden ticket AMC shares. Please keep in mind that it does not matter that APE had almost twice as many shares in circulation than AMC at the time of conversion. The 8K clearly and specifically states that the old APE and AMC shares will convert on a one-to-one -one basis to this new share we are calling the golden ticket. This is the most controversial part of this process. Some people thought because APE had about twice as many shares as AMC in circulation before the conversion that would explain why the APE shares, at least up to the time of this tutorial, have been trading at a significantly lower price than AMC. In reality the main reason APE has traded lower is because of market makers and short hedge funds have driven the price down as much as they can. The fact that the proxy dated February 14, 2023 very specifically says that APE and AMC will convert to the new AMC share at a 1 for 1 ratio. The proxy states and I quote, for example, if you hold 100 shares of common stock and 100 apes when the charter amendment proposals become effective, you will automatically thereafter hold an aggregate 20 shares of common stock, 10 post split shares of common stock issued for the 100 pre split shares of common stock and 10 post split shares of common stock issued for the 100 apes. It is the number of shares that you own on the conversion and reverse split date that matters, not the price of any of the stocks. Price is not part of the conversion or reverse split process, only share count. Once the conversion and reverse split is complete then price becomes important to know what your new portfolio balance is. So let's see how our imaginary traders did with their trades. Harry had an original cost basis of $105 for his initial 20 shares of the old AMC that were converted and reverse split into two new golden ticket AMC shares. KC had an original cost basis of $50 for his initial 20 shares of APE that were converted and reverse split into two new golden ticket AMC shares. And AC had an original cost basis of $77.50 for his initial 10 shares of APE and 10 shares of AMC that were converted and reverse split into two new golden ticket AMC shares. So I know what your wrinkly APE brain is probably thinking? Well, besides what the heck just happened? The million dollar question on most apes minds is what will be the price of the new AMC share, what we are calling the golden ticket in this lesson. That is not a knowable answer, but we do have a strong inclination as to how that price will get calculated. Some smart apes have suggested this will be the formula used to derive the price for the golden ticket share. This obviously gets a bit in the weeds, but if you want you can pause this video and look closer at the numbers and formula on the screen. Bottom line $34.83 is a decent expected starting point when trading on March 15, 2023 begins. So to wrap things up. You can see on this slide that KC turned out to be quite the trader. Obviously share prices can change dramatically with our beloved Ape and Amy stocks, but the main point of this tutorial was to explain the rare arbitrage situation that is before us. Regardless of the price as long as Ape is selling for anything less than AMC it is one of the, the best arbitration plays going. Since the conversion is based on share count and not share price or dilution amounts, APE is the superior choice based on math. Let me be crystal clear. This arbitrage play is totally dependent on all three votes from the March 14th proxy being a yes. If the votes do not pass, APE shares will most likely drop in price quickly. What could happen in a no-vote situation is a much more complicated video. If there is a strong demand, and if I have the time available, perhaps one can be created before March 14th. Do you disagree? Do you see any issues with the math or logic? Please drop a note if you do. Cheers.